Okay, so this is the petrol station. Yep. There are a couple more, but they're miles out of town. So when we're directing you places, we will say turn left, go straight on at the petrol station. This one is where we're talking about. Okay. Every so often, I'm going to ask you where we are relative to Chrissy Hill. <laughs>
Yeah, it's too big. Bam. <laughs> Reminds me of China, Beijing. It's like <laughs> I'm from India. Okay. <laughs> I've seen these guys. Riding in a taxi in Beijing, I just close my eyes and pray for the best. Oh my goodness. I hope I reach my destination <laughs> one day. <laughs>
I went to the night market last night. Oh, yesterday, yeah. And I walked all the way around Pussy yeah. Hill. I found the night market. Yeah. And somehow I ended up doing a complete like circle. <laughs> all right. Which is a good thing, right? It you already know thing. the stuff. I was like, I'm not sure I'm lost, but if I know they said it's a small town, and if I keep walking, eventually you just I'm going to get where I need to be. And eventually I got back to the sign that says Zion Death College. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in a holiday still or you're traveling? Or? Um, you know what I was like, I need to, I haven't done a really big vacation in like 10 years and I was like, wow. I need, and I you always need wanted to get to Vietnam, so I was okay. like, I need to plan this vacation or it's not going to happen. Right, right, right. So are you working like full time and like you're completely into Oh, part time, part time, okay, right, yeah. Okay. It's like commitment to work, like you know, you're not going anywhere and like... <laughs> What, what do you do if I'm off? I'm actually semi-retired, so now yeah. I do fun stuff. Like I'm a vendor at what? I'm a vendor at anime and comic conventions. Wow, wow, which are a lot of fun. And in Florida, we have one like every other weekend. Yeah, yeah. So I was checking the weather here. I'm like, wow, this is going to be like. Being in Florida the entire time I'm here. <laughs> I'm not leaving for my door. Are you like filming the whole thing? Yes, yes, I told all my friends and they're like, take pictures. <laughs> Been based in Florida for quite some time. Just for a few years. I used to. I used to work up. Uh, I. I used to be a global uh, marketing director. Wow! Right. For Where about? Um, for Gillette. Oh, okay. okay. With Worldly <laughs> toothbrushes, Gillette razor. Yeah. And then um, we got bought out by Procter and Gamble. Yes, indeed. Yes. And so, that was not that long, right? Like, it's it's been actually been a while. It's been. Uh, it's been almost. Two, it's been ten years. Yeah, a little of them, but yeah, 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 yeah. Which was quite a shock to all the people in Boston. They yeah, were, okay, uh, okay. they were not happy. <laughs> they were not you. happy. No, I was not happy. I had the best job, travel all over the world, oh, sure. you know. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. So what, what happened after that? Like, did you come? Can you make the company, or did you like, you know, I'm, no. I'm not gonna work under PNG. Like, you know, I've got to. No, make my it's one now. of those things where. If you didn't grow up in the PNG culture, yeah, yeah, it's a bit different. You weren't going to okay. succeed. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no matter how good you were, and, right. and PNG has a reputation. They buy a company, and they give all Structure, of the yeah. give all of the prime jobs to all the PNG people, which yeah. is what they did. Right. Okay. So I took the severance package. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's, that's good. Like, you know, if you don't like it, like, there's no point in just right. And, and we would have had to move to Cincinnati and yeah. so so you said you were you I'm, took I'm a, 10, 10 days off from your job or? yeah so I took like uh, two weeks off so I work for a mining company called Rio Tinto okay right so it's, it's uh, one of the mining giants actually so it's like there are two companies that are like two or three companies that are like really really big one is BHP Peloton okay on mining uh, they've got their own petrol operations as well. Then there's Rio Tinto, and there's another one which you may know, Wale. Okay. In Brazil. Okay. So, but again, again, extracted minerals. <laughs> a bit different, bro. <laughs> what you may have done. <laughs> and then, so yeah, yeah, so I've worked for one of them. I work in a mine site actually, so uh, it's up there. I work for an iron ore mining company, uh, iron ore mines. Okay. So it's up there in Western Australia. So I stay there for eight days period. Involved with the whole operations. Okay. And uh, after eight days, I fly back, and my base is Perth. Oh, okay. So I stay in Perth during my holidays, and my holidays are like six days long. So, like once they're done, like it's a repetitive cycle that goes on and on. So you do eight, six, eight, six. Yes, that's oh, right. Okay. Eight, six roasters. That's what they call. Okay. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Right? That's where you go with your passport and your money and your new 
passport photo and that's where you leave your passport over the weekend. Um, they are not open at the weekend at all. So if your, passport, your visa expires on Saturday, you need to take your passport in on Friday and pick it up on Monday. If you go during the week, you can pick it up the following day. Uh, if you're asked, you're on a cultural and educational tour. And so what you don't do is wear your full teaching kit, carrying a bag of textbooks under your arm. It's probably a bit of a dead giveaway, so don't do it. Um, most people are not asked. Oh, hang on. Hot like with your I own. just realized that I'm <laughs> feeling a bit hot. <laughs> bit about your background as well, Jill. like so where did you study and like uh, how do you reach Gillette? How do you reach Gillette? Well, um, let's see, how do I reach it? Well, oh, just a background. It's got a story. So, um, I have a marketing, um, marketing background and sure. I have an MBA from Columbia University. Columbia, yeah, yes. right. And so I'll that's talk kind of... a little bit more about that, actually. <laughs> I'm actually applying to PMB College, to be very honest. Oh, okay. And I think I'm not going to I don't know. Like, I'll meet a person who's going to be a person. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty awesome, yeah. All right. Okay, so you did your uh, um, MBA like... Many, 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 <laughs> many, many moons ago. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a polite way of saying it. <laughs> okay, so this is what I know. Um, we teach here. Just behind that blue sign there, there is a building with two classrooms in it. It's made of wood. It's probably what you would be expecting. It's dilapidated. You lose flashcards through the holes in the floor. Um, Marlene is your able translator and crowd control at uh, what I know. It's a primary school, so the novices are aged between 10 and 14-ish. Um, they're small classes, but they're quite a handful. They can be quite a handful. That is there. They're just boys, basically. Um, down that road, where the bike is just going, about another 10 minutes walk is another of our venues, which we call the centre. It's where we teach the girls' classes and a couple of other classes in the evenings. We're not going to go down there now, uh, but if you are teaching there, you will be taken by someone who knows where it is. You can to find it. Okay. We do have to turn around and retrace our steps now because they very inconveniently moved the immigration office into the police station. <laughs> we used to have a nice circular walk, and now I have to go and go and go back. <laughs> so back we go, back to the roundabout. So where are we in relation to Pussy Hill now? Where is Pussy Hill? Yes, great. Right. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> 